Hi everyone, this is Keija, and I want to talk about this video I have queued up behind me from the late Sally Kempton. Uh, but before I do that, I want to really thank everyone who has been supporting Awakening the Goddess. It has just been wonderful, the support that we've gotten um, to the film online, on um, YouTube, on our Facebook page. So I want to say thank you so much. Um, when you, uh, you should know that when you purchase the film, uh, we don't make any money from the sale of the film. The money goes right back into keeping it up there on the streaming site. So thank you again so much for your support. And once you purchase it, you know, you can watch it as many times as you want, which is great because there's so much material. It's very a very dense um, subject, as you know, those of you that have seen it. And I want to encourage um, people who have any questions after you've seen the movie or just if you haven't and you have questions about Kundalini or, you know, why should I watch this film, um, please reach out at um, our, our website, which is awakeningthegoddessfilm.com, and it has a link to um, our, our email, awakeningthegoddessfilm at gmail.com. And that's a great web uh, resource, that website, because it has um, all the organizations and teachers that were in the film, um, are, we have that resource page where you can reach out to them. And, um, you know, and, and get your questions asked. And if not, please reach out to me. If I can't answer your question, I will connect you with someone that maybe has an answer for you. And um, I just love hearing your questions. I had a question from someone recently that said, is Kundalini God? And I thought, what a great question. And this video of Sally behind me here, which you'll see in a minute, this video is a great um, answer to that question. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about um, how Sally got in the film. As you know, this was my, um, or maybe you don't know, but this was a, a master's degree thesis, this film, for um, my master's degree in yoga studies at Loyola Marymount. And that program is run by Chris Chappell. And when many people heard that he was involved, thank you, Chris, um, they, um, you know, jumped on board because they, they, he has such a reputation in this field of yoga. And so when I um, asked Sally, you know, would you be a part of this? She was not, she didn't hesitate. And I thought, oh, that's fantastic. And um, I actually met Sally first many years ago when I was living in an ashram in India. And, and as many of you probably met her when she was Swami Durgananda. And I remember even back then she was, it was so clear that she could take any subject and make it uh, easy for someone to understand, especially these kind of esoteric or, you know, possibly esoteric, difficult to understand subjects in, in, you know, in the world of spirituality, she could make it very easy to understand. And so I knew that when she was a possibility of being in the film, I knew we, we had to have her in the film. And so the week that we were shooting, um, there were wildfires in California, which there seem to be almost all the time right now. And um, it, was th it was threatening her home where she was living here in Southern California. So she had to evacuate the area. So I thought, um, my shooting schedule is so tight for this project, I'm gonna lose the interview. But she said to me, you know, um, I'm living, my friend up in Northern California has invited me to stay up there while the, the fires are, you know, we're working on the fires. And so can you get up here to Northern California? So I said, you know, we're gonna be there, we'll be there because I'm not, wasn't gonna lose the interview. So I got my, um, my, my crew, I got Chris and I got Paul and we drove up there and we got this amazing interview. So I hope you enjoy it. You'll see the, the link to it right up there. Again, I encourage you, please reach out with any questions about Kundalini and I hope you enjoy the video.